Hi, I'm recording a little video for you because we're starting painting boot camp today and you need to know what to do. So what we're going to start out um, with painting boot camp is how to use paintbrushes properly. And this year we have new containers um, for your paintbrushes and I'm going to tilt the camera down and I'm going to show you how we're going to use them. So inside of the container, there is a teeny tiny bit of water and then there are different size brushes. You get to choose your brush size. There's going to be a, a large brush. It's pretty soft. There's going to be a medium size brush. There's going to be a teeny tiny brush. And then there's going to be the brush um, that's hard that we used for gluing um, when we were doing collage. And you're gonna get to decide what you want to use. There's also this little edge here, right here, where you can wipe your brush once it gets dirty, and that will help clean it out. So when we use a paintbrush, there are some rules you need to know. Um, we don't tap, tap, tap. If we tap, 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 everything around us gets wet all over our desk, and we don't like that. So you want to gently on the side of your container, slowly, gently pull. You see the water running down the edge. That's our goal. Slowly, gently pull. Another thing we don't want to do is swirl, swirl, swirl. Because if you see, if you swirl, 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 you're just making a mess and the paint goes everywhere and the paint brushes get wet. And we don't like that either. So what we're going to do today is practice how to use these paint brushes and find our favorite paint brushes. So I'm going to give you a piece of paper, a white piece of paper, and we're going to start by putting our name on the back side with a pencil. So on the back side of my paper, I'm going to write Mrs. Wiley. And if I know my class, I'm going to write it below it. Okay. Then I'm going to flip my paper over. It doesn't matter if your paper is going sideways, horizontal, or up and down vertical. That's up to you. And we're going to use markers to practice painting today. So we can use Mr. Sketch markers. We can use skinny markers. We can use regular, um, regular markers. But what we cannot use are Sharpies. Can we use Sharpies? No. Um, the reason we can't use Sharpies are because Sharpies are permanent and they won't um, mix when we put water on them. So we're going to use um, any kind of Mr. Sketch or a regular marker. These are called School Smart. These are Crayola. Doesn't matter as long as it's regular. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. You get to practice on your paper. You can try by my paper here. You can try drawing zigzags. You can try um, drawing shapes. You can try putting colors next to each other. Like what happens if I put a green spot next to a yellow spot? wonder what that's going to turn into. Okay, so we're going to be coloring our paper with ideas. Let's see, maybe I tr I'll try an orange swirl. Then we're going to choose what paint brushes we want to use. What happens if I use the medium size or the large size brush? I'm going to slowly, gently pull. And what is so great about regular markers is that they the color runs when you get it wet so we're going to turn our marker into paint so watch carefully when i put my paintbrush on here and go over top of it my paint is going to start running so what happens if i brush over it far and wide notice how everything around it is now brown now, I need to clean my paintbrush out before I go into another color or I'm going to get it dirty. So I'm going to go back into my container. I'm going to find that little line and I can slowly brush my paintbrush over it. And then on the edge of the container, slowly, gently pull. 
Then I can try my next one. I'm going to try a new paintbrush also and see what happens. Maybe I'll try this giant paintbrush. Slowly, gently pull. See what happens if I get it wet. Now, if I want the color to go far out and wide, I can brush around it. I'm going to choose another paintbrush or clean my paintbrush off. Let me try, let me try the medium-sized paintbrush. Slowly, gently pull. And I'm going to do this on the orange one. And I don't think I want my color to run. I think I want my color to just stay right where it is. That's pretty cool. And what happens if I choose two colors and I want to make them one color? So I'm going to go back and choose this large paintbrush and see what happens. Slowly, gently pull. And let's see what happens Ooh, when I blend them together. Ooh, I'm getting like a light green color. Now, what I don't want to do uh, with my paintbrush is give it a bad hair day. Um, up on the wall, let's see, that way, um, over next to my clock, there's a sign that says good hair day and bad hair day. A good hair day paintbrush should look like this. The bristles should all be standing up. What it shouldn't look like is if you use it on your paper and it starts twisting and turning, uh-oh, that's a bad hair day. That means your metal part of your brush is digging into your paper. This is how your paper is going to rip, and this is how we're going to ruin the brush. If you realize, oh, man, I'm pressing too hard, there's an easy fix. Take your bad hair day and place it down into your water. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. And just gently place it in the water. And when you pull it up, it will have a good hair day again, especially if you slowly, gently pull. So we can fix it. It doesn't mean you're in trouble, but it does mean we really want to learn how to use a paintbrush appropriately today. Okay. And when you're holding your paintbrush, you want to hold it where the metal meets the handle. Um, that's the best place to hold a paintbrush. If you hold it down here, your fingers are going to get yucky. If you hold it here, it's really hard to control your paintbrush. And it doesn't matter the size. You want to hold it where the handle meets. This is the metal part where the handle meets the metal. This is plastic instead of metal. But where they're uh, meeting. And then these little baby paintbrushes, same thing. They've got a metal part and a handle. I'm going to hold it where they meet. So I don't want to hold it way up here. It's really hard to paint with. Your goal while we practice is to fill your whole paper. You can do like I did and do one spot at a time, or you might choose to do a large spot. What I don't want to do is put my marker on stuff that's wet. If I put my marker on stuff that's wet, hmm, it doesn't really work very well. And when I try to draw with my marker again, yikes, it's not working very well. So we don't want our markers to get wet. Should our markers get wet? No, don't let the markers get wet. You wanna use them dry and then put your paint on top. So that is our goal for today. We're gonna do some practicing for painting boot camp.